The Steelers beat the Cincinnati Bengals on Monday Night Football. They beat them 24 to three. And I'm so happy that the Steelers won this game. I'm happy that they're currently one and three and they still have a chance to make it to the playoffs. I really believe that. But it started on Sunday, excuse me, on Monday when they beat the Bengals. This was a must win game for the Steelers. That offense rolled to the occasion. They had to score and they did. The defense also stepped up their game, holding the Cincinnati Bengals to only three points. So things are looking really bright for the Steelers right now. They can definitely still make it to the playoffs and I wouldn't be surprised if they made a deep playoff run. They have the right people in place to do that. They've got Mason Rudolph, who had a great game. He threw for a couple of yards. I believe he had 229 yards passing. So he got really better. He improved his level of play for when he was la when he played against the 49ers. I'm noticing him more confident. As he throws the ball, his confidence is growing. That's a good sign. And then the offensive coordinator for the Steelers, he came up with a great game plan. He had a little wildcat going on. Rudolph was throwing the ball quick and fast at times. So I like what I saw there. The defense came alive. Wow. The Steelers defense was looking really good. Dupree was playing lights out. Watt. Fitzpatrick. The rookie Devin Bush. I saw him on that blitz. He blitzed and he just hit that quarterback. Dalton from the Bengals. He hit him hard. And you know what Devin Butch, when he hits you, you go down quick, fast, and in a hurry. So he played well. I'm so happy that the Steelers won. They're currently one and three, but I definitely see a great winning streak happening for this team. So they've won one game, they might go on a seven or eight game winning streak. I am not ruling them out. This season is far from over. Mike Tomlin is their coach. He is a great motivator of men. He will find a way to help the Steelers continue to win. Even without Ben Roethlisberger there, even with A.B. no longer on the team and Le'Veon Bell, they will still find a way to play well and make it to the playoffs. It started on Monday night with the Bengals and they're gonna keep playing well. The offense will improve. Rudolph will get better as the season progresses. James Conner, he knows what he has to do. He's going to have to run the ball because he's a pivotal part of the offense. Juju Smith-Schuster, he's going to catch more balls. Definitely for sure. He's going to fill in very well. And he's going to step up his game being the number one receiver. And I'm just looking forward to seeing it all go down. The future looks bright for the Steelers. Things are looking very well for Mike Tomlin. He definitely should not be on the hot seat. That is just preposterous to even think that. He is a proven winner. He has a running record as a head coach. And that is more than enough of a reason as to why he should still be there. Like I said, they beat the Bengals. This win, it will propel them to win more games. I just can't wait to see more of that happening down the road. Thanks for watching. Thanks for listening. You should definitely subscribe to my channel. If you have not done so already, just press the subscribe button below this video. If you did that, I would greatly appreciate it. And plus by subscribing, you won't miss out on any content that I post in the future. So you definitely want to subscribe. Thanks again for watching. Thanks for listening. I hope that all of you have a blessed, wonderful, day.